is always gonna be my big love bug. Rich is so polite about everything. I don't ever wanna be without him ever again. So I often wonder, um, what was it that attracted you to Rich? At first it was more of a fascination than an attraction, but when I saw him and how he was like interacting with people and his smile and how he spoke to me, like that's really what it was just like, wow, there's something more to this out. guy than just a giant, massive man. Mm -hmm. So where is it you actually saw Rich then? I met him at the LA Fit Expo in 2013. Um, as soon as I left, I had like taken a picture with him and I called my sister and I said, you're never going to believe what I saw today and I met this guy and I, I have to go out with this guy. I want to know more about him. He's just like so intriguing. So that's how I met him and then I kind of cyber-stalked him, tracked him down and was like, hey, we should get together sometime. He's like, well, you don't live that far away. We can do that at any time. So we ended up having lunch like a week later and didn't part ways for a really long time. So what would you say was Rich's number one quality? His generosity. He's not just financially generous to those around him that he cares about, but he's also um, very generous with his knowledge to people that he knows and, I mean, to complete strangers. Like, he really cares about other people doing good for themselves and doing good in life. Yeah, I've seen that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. he's genuinely just a really good hearted person, and I think a lot of people don't anticipate that yeah. about him or they make assumptions because he's kind of like the bad boy in the fitness industry. He's actually a really good man and I yeah, think that sure. people kind of overlook that. that. Mm -hmm. So does it upset you or, or, or bother you when people judge Rich um, on appearance or what some other people may say or how do you feel when you hear that? Um, I don't mind so much like if, if someone's curious <laughs> or they're staring out of curiosity. What bothers me is when people make negative comments especially people who themselves probably don't like to be judged yeah like we were at a restaurant and this girl was rather overweight and started snapchatting him and was saying can you believe this guy he looks disgusting and i was literally standing like this far away from her and i was like girlfriend like people probably snapchat you and if you were to see that like that would hurt your feelings if you saw the mean comments people make about you like don't pass judgment on somebody else like it's fine if you have a fascination with something and you're curious about it but don't pass judgment on somebody else's appearances like that where i'm just like it doesn't bother him he doesn't care he's like hey, it's gonna happen i put myself out there like that but i'm like no that's not okay like he is one of the first people to come to somebody else's defense and be like hey don't pass judgment we're all in this together so it really hurts me to the core to know that he's such a good person and wants everybody else to not be judged for who they are when he's the number one person people mm. love to pick on like, it just yeah. doesn't make sense to me yeah and people i think people presume that because rich is who he is and in the fitness industry that it's okay for them to judge him. Yeah, as soon as someone from the industry judges back, all of a sudden he's an ass. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I get that. What's the weirdest question that anyone's ever asked you about you and Rich? <laughs> Actually, uh, this girl asked me today at the expo, good God, doesn't he murder you in bed? <laughs> like, well, I'm still standing. <laughs> uh, and no, but um, well, oddly enough, funny story, he did pop my breast implant not too long ago. But it's not because he's being rough or crazy or anything, he's just so massive. He was like nearly 300 pounds and put all of his weight on me. So, it, I mean, yeah, like being a smaller person, and I'm not that small, but I'm smaller than him. Like, it's uh, it's intimidating. And it was certainly intimidating the first time we were intimate. I was like, God, this guy is huge and he's just gonna squash me. But um, he's he's actually like a very gentle person oh, by nature. Oh, he's a soft lover. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he's a, he's actually a gentle giant when it comes to that. He's very, um, very respectful and, and very sweet and affectionate and I wasn't expecting that. That's, I think that's why I was like so terrified of him um, in that regard. But uh, no, I, I think that it's it's really strange when people ask me questions about Personal art. Questions. Yeah, like I don't even know you lady. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to take a picture with me and <laughs> making me feel really awkward with your messed up question. But um, yeah, I mean, people ask really strange questions, but that was definitely probably the strangest. Well, at least everyone knows now, so no one's going to ask again. I hope not. That Rich is soft and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> but he's hard where it counts. <laughs> How did your family react when they saw a picture of Rich? So I sent all of my family like a group text message and a photo of us together. Uh, my mom thought that it was a photoshopped photo. My sister goes, oh my god, you finally found your dream man. <laughs> and my brother goes, 
what is that? Because he just was like, had never seen anything like that before. Um, my, my family isn't really avid into working out or anything. Yep. So the only guy they've ever seen that's remotely as big is Arnold. And I, I mean, all respect to due to Arnold, I'm pretty sure that Rich is even bigger than Arnold. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They were all kind of like taken back and overwhelmed. My grandmother was like, good Lord, that boy must eat all of his vegetables. <laughs> so, so did you finally know who Rich was or not no, until after? Um, that was four years ago and I had never been to a fitness expo before so nobody really knew anything about the fitness industry or people in it um, so they know now mm -hmm. because they see everything posted on the internet and sometimes when they get on Facebook or whatever they'll see an advertisement with like his picture on or whatever and they're like oh screenshot look right now <laughs> so now they're um, they're kind of like taken back by it and it's really surreal to them they're like wow you're, you're kind of like dating a pseudo celebrity right like you guys are <laughs> kind of up there and I'm like yeah like that's kind of a surreal situation like I've, I've I guess sometimes because I'm in it, I don't think about it that way. So it's kind of funny when my family sends me screenshots of like things that they find about him or things that get posted or after. Rich is just rich to you. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't. He's always going to be my big love bug. Yeah. So have you always been attracted to to guys like that, like Rich, then that type? I've always found big muscles and, and tattoos and things really attractive, but I'd never really had the opportunity to date anybody like that before. So. I was more than happy to jump the chance to date Rich. And now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still more than happy. So what type of advice would you give to girls that have just started a relationship with a guy similar to Rich? I would say you need to have patience. You need to have enough self-confidence not to take offense or get overly jealous when someone invades his personal space out of curiosity. And um, you need to be selfless because it does take a lot for them to look the way that they do. You need to, you know, be on there like to help them with their meals and if they want to go work out, you need to be supportive of that. You need to want to go and work out with them and be around them and be a part of that lifestyle. There's a lot that goes into looking like that and you need to be there to be supportive of that. You can't be like me, 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 me all the time and I want to do this and I want to do that. You need to come together but they are your main priority because they need your support. So when you and Rich are out, and it's just you and Rich on your own, and you're out somewhere, do um, other girls like want to come over and fill his arms or feel, feel how big Rich is? Does that upset you or what happens there? It happens all the time. Anywhere from like the supermarket to the airport. I expect it in an expo. Um, it doesn't really bother me in an expo because that's why we're all there. Um, it, it just kind of upsets me when we're out in public and people will go, can I touch you? And they're shaking their head yes and they're already touching him while they ask the question. Like, you're totally needing that guy's space, lady. I get that you're curious, but back up. Or, you know, um, oh, I want to feel what your muscles look like. I'm, or feel what your muscles feel like. I'm so curious. Well, I'm sorry, but to me that's equivalent to a man coming up and going, oh, it looks like you have fake boobs. Can I touch them? Like. Whether it's a, a private sexual part of your body or your arm, like, I don't belong to you, we do not know each other, like, there is a personal boundary that people just, for whatever reason, don't have because they just get so curious and it's just, Rich is so polite about everything and he never tells a person no or I'm not comfortable, but it's like, I'm, I would think that he's inside going, okay, hey, doesn't, doesn't this person understand, like, this is inappropriate or I don't know you. you. You wouldn't want somebody coming up and like randomly touching your kid. Like it's your personal space, your body. And like, I'm like, that's not a man. Like I'm not gonna come up and grope on your guy. Like, I mean, I don't wanna come up and see if his man boobs are really fake. Like <laughs> not gonna touch his tush. Like it's just really strange to me that people don't have that thought boundaries. in their head. Like yeah, boundaries, people have boundaries. You need to, you have them for yourself. Why would you think that just because he's looks the way he does it, it's okay. And some people have said, well, then you guys shouldn't go out in public. Um, I'm not gonna expect him to wear a parka everywhere he goes because you guys can't keep your hands to yourselves. No. Like, weren't you taught as like a kid, like keep your hands to yourself? Like, I just, I can't fathom how as an adult people have lost that concept. So what is something about rich that people would never think or believe? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer a few questions there. Uh, yes, he can wipe his own ass. That's handy. <laughs> <laughs> his dick most definitely hangs a lot lower than his balls do. And he's not abusive. A lot of people always assume that guys that take steroids have a small penis when they're that big that they can't wipe their own ass. 
or that because they take steroids they're abusive towards women uh, or their partner and um, they're, it's actually not as common as people think and thankfully I'm not in a relationship with someone like that so I'm very happy Go ahead. and um, I'm, I'm very happy in my relationship very well taken care of physically emotionally just all around I'm, I'm in a good place and a good relationship with a good man so what are the, some, some of the assumptions that people make about you as a woman being with a man like Rich? There's a lot. Um, that I have daddy issues, which for the record, my dad looks nothing like Rich. He's Joking. a clean pole. He's like <laughs> six foot six and skin and bone and Rich is a beefcake. So no, I definitely don't have daddy issues. Um, and of course, the number one is gold digger. No. Uh, I am a gold digger though, um, but no, definitely not a gold digger. Um, Rich and I are both trying to go towards the same goal. We are both working really hard towards that goal, and I'm sure that there is gold at the end of that tunnel, but we're working on that together. I'm not trying to ride his coattails mm -hmm. by any means, and I'm not here for a temporary fix to try to get something out of him to go be off on my own. Well, I've seen that because I spend a lot of time with you guys, and I see how much effort and what you put into the the the, uh, the five percent, um, so I can see exactly where you're at as well. And that's cool. Yeah, I'm I'm there for the love, not the not the mm -hmm. money. Yes, money is great and everything else, but you could lose everything tomorrow and you still are, yeah, you have to ask. question like, do you want to, <laughs> do you want to be with this person or not? Yeah. And, and it's like, of course I do. Yeah. I, I love him more than anything, and I was absolutely miserable without him, and I don't ever want to be without. Him. Ever again, so it's I'm with him for love, not for money, not for the fame or anything else that would come along with it. I'm, I'm with him for him. He's a, a good person, and I've I've never met anyone, known anyone, or dated anyone like him all around. He's smart, kind, generous, giving, loving, affectionate, and I'm the luckiest woman in the world to have him.